Now to new information we're learning into a deadly officer involved shooting overnight on Detroit's west side. A new police dash cam video shows someone firing multiple shots at officers as this chaos unfolded. We bring in Victor Williams following this story. Victor, officers uh, seem to be under fire several times. Yes, that's right, and they wanted to remain very transparent about this incident. That's why they released that dash cam footage, which shows the shootout, which really looks like something out of an action movie. We do know that that man ended up dying from his injuries after being shot multiple times, but the chief is saying that he does believe that he knows the motive. Dramatic dash cam footage shows the moment a 27 year old decided to shoot at police on Detroit's west side with a 40 caliber handgun. Clearly, he was focused on one thing and one thing only to kill a police officer. The 27 year old died a short time later at the hospital after being shot by police multiple times, but it was the investigation of another shooting that led to all this taking place. As police were investigating a separate shooting where five were shot, that's when the 27 year old literally drove through the crime scene firing at police. His music was loud. It was as if he was preparing himself for battle. After a high speed chase throughout much of Detroit, including the downtown area, the suspect got out of his vehicle near Eight Mile and Grash at shooting at police, resulting in his death. Mayor Duggan commented on the shooting during one of the day's briefings. It looked like the officers last night were heroic. Uh, I just want to commend Chief Craig and the Detroit Police Department. While the 27 year old does not have a criminal history, it's believed the violence may have been caused by trauma in his own life. He lost a 21-year-old um, friend the day prior at a dice game. And Chief Craig did offer his condolences to the suspect's family. It's just a sad situation all around. You can only imagine what they must be going through. Reporting live tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4.